The SFWBL is back with the wild card action. The Diamondbacks took on the Yankees in the best of one wild card game to get to the World Series. Started off top of the first. First batter of the game, James Bouchard hits a bomb. Solo home run to lead off the game. One to nothing Yankees immediately. It was the start of a long day for the Diamondbacks defense and the start of a great day for the Yankees offense, and you'll see more about that later. James Bouchard's second at-bat of the game now. First pitch he sees, puts that one even farther. Another bomb, making the score three to nothing. And by the way, the kid in the green shirt, not Nick Pryor, not John Ryan, but Jacob Sanderson, his first SFWBL game ever since they dropped Nick Pryor to pick him up, since Nick Pryor moved. But anyway, bottom of the first, Griffin Andrews ground ball to shortstop. Andrew makes the play clean, but James drops it, and a run will score Zach Andrews coming in from third. Nobody's out, man on first and third, and now Zach comes up. Griffin's on second, he stole, and Zach hits a ground ball, but he's out. A run comes home, 3-2 to two now. Next pitch, Zach Vicarelli line drive off of the shed. Another run comes in, an actual RBI single on this one, and the score is tied, bottom of the first, 3-3. Three to three. Here comes Zach, bottom of the second. It's a bomb, deep right field, off the wall, and Jacob flips over the wall in an attempt to save himself from crashing into it. Let's look at this one again on slow motion instant replay. Jacob jumps, dolphin dives right over the wall so he doesn't run into it and hurt himself and the wall. That was pretty funny. Now Jacob redeems himself with a bloop into right field for a single. No RBIs because Zach makes an error, so the run comes in. 4-3 to three Yankees here, top of the third. Next batter, James Michaud, another bomb. Could it go? It will not. It'll be a Zach Ficarelli drop in the outfield. He looked like he didn't really see the ball out there, lost in the clouds, but runners have to go back. It'd be first and second, Andrew Viola. Next pitch, line drive into the McCarthy rectangle down there and left. A run would come in on the throw. Griffin Andrews caught trying to pick off James Michaud. A quick reaction by Zach Andrews. Gets the ball in, so no more runs would score, but it would be 6-3. to three. The Yankees had the D-back score doubled, and look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Jacob Sanderson, a home run in his first actual at-bat. He was hit four times prior to this at-bat. So I guess you could say first at-bat, first home run for Jacob Sanderson. A three-run blast. Top of the third, making the score 9-3 to three for the underdog Yankees. Top of the fourth now, James Rashad looking for home run number three, and he cranks it and gets it right over Ryan McCarthy's head out there in center. Making the score 10 to 3 now. The Yankees crack double digits only in the top of the fourth. Game just becoming halfway over. And unfortunately, this is all that the camera would pick up as it mysteriously just stopped right here. As it goes blank, the Yankees did win 15 to 3 in a blowout. James Michaud ended with four home runs, and the Yankees are to play the Rangers in the World Series. And we're probably going to be uploading one game per week, and we have all the footage ready. So stay tuned, see who wins it all this year.